Hi y'all, this is Annie B and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, hello to all my wonderful, wonderful subscribers. You know, I just finished the January 2021 Bargain B box. So now it is time to store things. One thing about me that I would like to share is that I cannot stand a clutter. So I am pretty much an organizer. So once I complete my video, and I'll leave a link to the January 2021 Bar and Beatbox so you can go back and look at some of the things. But once I finish, I have to organize them because I just can't have the piles over here and over there. That just drives me crazy. So let me show you my method for my madness. And when I say method for my madness, I'm one of those people that if you leave a cup, if you take a cup out of the cabinet and leave it and I come along beside you and if you turn your back, that cup has been placed back in this right place. So <laughs> that's just the kind of person I am. So it drives my husband crazy. But what can you say? Been married too long, so he should be used to it by now. Okay, this is going to be a short one, hopefully. Well, it will be a short one. Now, what you're seeing is some of the items that I have left over. And these are all the little the beads and things that are left over. And this month, is, it's pretty easy. They're all pretty much the same color. And the theme um, is, is, what is the theme? Let's see. forgot already. The theme is Roses Are Pink. So that is a easy storing challenge with these because they are all pink now i have a container that i put all my pink beads in and actually this is all the pink that i have and when i pull this out to put my beads up look what i found these are the same beads that we received in january see i could have made something else with them if i wanted to but what I made is what spoke to me. But I will take all my pink beads. I don't care what shade they are. I will put them in a container. And now if I, I grow my container, I usually will have a, an additional one or I will get a large one. But this is the way I store all the beads. Now, when I get ready to store my connector, I have, this is my connector container and I always label them connectors and links and things so I just drop those in there and let's see ah I just wanted to show you this this is my uncompleted <laughs> container you know at one point I just went crazy with tassels I was making tassels up to wazoo and I just gave up on them this one turned this one was cute I don't know I might just take this out and work with it I like that, but that was just my inc uh, incomplete projects that I do. And I also, let's see, and remember the little, what are these called? These are the uh, glass flowers, the little glass um, beaded flowers. To me, I thought, I always looked at them as little um, bead caps, but... <laughs> <laughs> but this is my little supply that I am growing with all of the beads, the little glass uh, flowers that I get. And if you would notice, I have little green labels in them. And what I do is I already have pre-made bags of all the subscription that I get. And as you can see, it says bargain bead box and I would write the month um, in a year on it. So I would know what I have because like this one here, this is a um, dollar bead box. And this came in in December of 2018. I've had them just that long. <laughs> so those are they. And let's see the bead caps they have a place of their own now this is supposed to be a, a rose gold copper color i don't know i always just put all the light colors of those in a in the bag that's been put away and the jump rings 
we have lots and lots of jump ring this is only a sample of the jump rings that i have and they're usually colored jump rings and it's gold silver not silver i don't put silver in here but it's copper and all different shades of gold and whatnot so the rose gold it goes into this little cubby as well so i think i have about <laughs> don't judge me but i think i got one two three four and this is the fifth container like this of jump rings and well yeah what can i say okay the same with the clasp now i have the giant plastic bags that i keep them keep them in and i'm looking at putting them in a container because i think at some point i need to it's it's really growing so i need to put them in a different container and this plastic bag only contains uh the color ones uh the uh, the the brass um what is this the bronze color and um copper colors and things like that i put those in here now the silver they have their own bags as well now the head pins or the ball head pins i have a container for those as well i will put them in here and this is in a an assorted head pins and um ball head pins that i uh put my pins in now now as far as the ones that now that's all the loose beads and and components that i had left over now for the ones that i've completed now I am very particular with those. This is the way that I store all of my completed ones. I actually take the time and I put them in little cards. I have some cellophane uh, wraps. I think it was a uh, goodie wrap or uh, some type of goodie bag that you would um, put the goodies in. And I thought I could use it for storing my beads and it worked out quite well. I make a little card and I make the card according to the size of the piece, but mainly they're almost always the same, the same size. So I would make them and I will put them in there and I usually go by the color scheme. Now this color scheme this time is pink and that is what I use at the bottom. And when you put this, let's see if I can show you this if i can take it out sorry about the noise <laughs> but when this is right here is a piece of washi tape that i have in my um in my uh, stash here and i just put that around the edge and what that did was it made a little channel and i just dropped that little loose chain over in there and it kind of hides it and you know, I put the little slit in the um, in the uh, card so it will hang, and that turned out really nice. Let's see if I can get that back in. Let's see, this goes here. No, it goes this way. Yeah. So I will just put that back into this little hole. Drop it in. Sorry about the noise. But that turned out really great. This is a great way of storing, storing your stuff. It doesn't get lost. And if you're looking, if you're looking for a particular project, because sometimes I have gotten comments and someone would ask me about something that I've done in June. And if they mention the month, I can just go right to it. And what I do, I also, when I make a set, like this set here, this is the earrings here. And I would just drop the necklace in here. And you see that little X there? That is because there is something wrong with this set here. Well, it's nothing wrong with it, but I didn't have enough rose gold. So I use a piece of silver um, crimp cover. And I'm, I'm going to take it off as soon as my order comes in with my uh, crimp covers to match with that. But yeah, and of course, this is my favorite set. <laughs> and I'm going to put it in, but, you know, I'm going to take it out. But this is a matching set here. And after I put them all together, I will pack them in another bag. Now, I 
like the um i think this is a ziploc bag yeah this is a ziploc bag now i like using the ziploc bag because i can write on it because you see it says january 2021 finished jewelry and it has bargain bead box so if i'm ever looking for any items that is how i find them and i will store them but you know since the pandemic you can't just get out and go to uh the fairs and the functions to um sell some of your stuff so if one of my family members say, oh, I love that uh, bracelet uh, that you did in January, I can pull it out and I can go directly to it and it's not a struggle and I will send it to them. Okay, that is it. But I just wanted you to see the bags. I have a ton of them and this is just a small, I think I got another. Yes, I do. <laughs> I have another bundle just this big. I think it's about 200 bags. So in all, I probably have about 400 of those bags that I use, these, these cello bags, and they are really, really nice. They make your project look um, really nice and expensive and, and elegant looking. <laughs> so that is the way I store my uh, finished jewelry. And like I said, I like to be organized and this year, I, it's not a new year resolution, but I wanna be intentional. I want to do something. I want to say I want to do something and I want to do it. And so far, I'm off to a good start. My church has a saying every year they come up with a theme. And uh, one year it was intentional. So I look back at my uh, Sunday school notes and I saw that. So I said, this is a great start. I'm being intentional by doing, I'm completing my task and I'm putting things up where they should be put. And this year's theme at my church is uh, resilient. And I think that's good. We're just going to force our way on through this things. Well, all this stuff that we're going through, you know, with the pandemic and all of the meanness that people are showing. But um, yeah, but as long as I have my beating time and my happy place, I am good to go. This right here is my map. And I have, it's, it's, kind of like a little barrier when I put my bees down or seed bees or anything that roll it will roll up to this little line here so I use this all the time to um, bead on so when I'm doing my video I will move it aside and I will usually use this side right here but this piece right here wonderful it catches your bees so now they don't roll on the floor and because <laughs> once they're on the floor I'm sorry I'm not gonna go get them so that is it for me and thank you so much for stopping by and you all take care and don't forget to like and subscribe and give me a comment i swear to god i read every one of them and i love them and i'll sometimes i say oh that is so sweet you guys are fabulous all right now y'all take care bye bye